All right, folks, um, I've got here my micro gripper kit that I ordered from Servo City. Uh, since it didn't come with directions, I figured I'd give you a quick walkthrough of what I did to get it up and running. Um, it comes with uh, three screws, a washer, and three plastic pieces for the gripper itself. It does not come with a servo, but I have a little high-tech uh, micro, sub-micro servo that uh, I'm going to use for it. So I'm going to take the screw out of the servo and set it aside and then we're going to put the main housing on it so you see that it lines up with the um, with the molding of the, uh, the servo housing and then we're going to take the two narrow screws and pop them in on either wing of the servo to um, connect the housing to the servo and just screw those guys in should probably move up a bit size on my uh, screwdriver because I am slipping a little bit but well now, when you put these in, you need to make sure that the head of, or the tip of the screw is flush with the plastic mount, not um, not going out past the uh, base of the gripper, because if it does, it will catch on the other pieces as they move over the base. So just uh, screw it in until you feel it coming flush with it. So we've got the base on there. Next we are going to take the right gripper arm which has the teeth in it and pop that on there. Now to get this right you probably if you have uh, one available you might want to use a servo tester to make it easier to uh, line it up. Your goal here is to have my understanding of your goal is to have the um, closed position just slightly um, above the minimum position of the servo such that you've got a little bit of gripping power but not overpowering. So right now my servo is at um, uh, frame rate 1248. If I look at, you know, max open, max closed that's going to be a bit too far so I'm gonna put the servo right around 1050 or so um, and then we'll pop this guy off turn it back on so that the servo will resist me if I accidentally reposition it and then I'm going to try to line up this arm so that the center is aligned with the center of the base here so that it will close um, in a centered position so right around there and then just wiggle it around a little to find the uh, the place for the teeth to catch all right and we'll go ahead and take the little washer that came with it and pop that down on top of it and put our servo screw back in to hold this guy in place and line up that washer so that it's in the center of the screw. Tighten it down not too tight but uh, tight enough. Alright so we've got 1050 is our touching closed position so now we're going to take this other guy and we're going to line him up out like that we're gonna find the hole for it and put that screw in there and then we can adjust to taste once we get it um, locked down all right so let's see that would lock and just looking it looks like it's about proportional so that looks good we'll tighten this down not too tight because we don't want it to bind 
and just tight enough that it will be able to turn smoothly without straining the servo. And we have a gripper. So if we take this guy, put it in there. Oh, sorry. Let's put it right here and grip it. It's got enough grip to lift up that. And the little teeth on this can grab something a little bit finer and lift it there. And nice big wide open. One thing that I've noticed looking at this is if you open too far, then you see how the teeth are not aligned anymore. As long as this does not get moved manually, then it will mesh back up just fine. But if you actually went and bumped that, then you'll see it's not going to line up anymore. Um, I think an easy way to fix that would be to uh, set your, sub tra your travel on your servo to not go past this position. Um, for me it's 1725 or so, but uh, that would be an easy thing to set in your controller, your transmitter. Anyway, hope might be helpful to someone. Have fun. Thank you very much. Uh, this, ser this micro gripper kit came from Servo City. I ordered it through Amazon Marketplace. It was only uh, $7 plus 7 shipping, not too bad. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Thank you very much. Bye.